Senator from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. President. I have found this conversation so interesting. I will remind my colleagues that H.R. 2, a border security bill, actually did come to the Senate. And it has been here since May 15th of 2023, an actual border security bill. And the fact that the provisions in front of us are not border security provisions are things that are of concern. I have come to the floor to talk about the Biden administration ending a policy that we had during the Trump years, and it was familial DNA testing at the southern border. Now, they chose to end this. Nobody has benefited more from this reckless decision of the Biden administration than these cartels that are abusing and recycling minors to help illegal aliens. Yes, indeed, they are recycling children. They're recycling children who have no relationship to the adults that are bringing them in because these illegal aliens being pushed by the cartels are attaching children to the adults so that they appear as a family unit at the border and that will help them to get asylum. While more than 400,000 migrant children have crossed our border under this administration, reports show us that as many as 30% of those children that are DNA tested by border agents are not related to the illegal aliens who are posing as their family members. So I come to the floor to call for a motion to proceed to S1843, the End Child Trafficking Now Act, to restore familial DNA testing at the border. The bill would criminalize child recycling. It would require DHS to deport illegal aliens who refuse a DNA test. It would mandate a maximum 10-year sentence for illegals who fabricate family ties to a minor and require HHS to process such children as unaccompanied minors. Protecting migrant children should not be controversial. But if my Democrat colleagues object, they are making their position clear on this issue. So, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to legislative session further, that the Committee on the Judiciary be discharged from further consideration of S-1843, and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. Is there objection? Reserving the right to object. Mr. President, Senator I, from Illinois. I understand this bill is intended to, quote, require a DNA test to determine the relationship between asylum-seeking adults at the border and, quote, any accompanying children. However, it fails to accomplish this goal, and our current laws already include provisions to allow for DNA testing. Under current law as written, DHS and the State Department already have the necessary authority to collect DNA where there's any question about the familiar relationship between a non-citizen and a minor child traveling with them. At the southwest border, the Department of Homeland Security currently conducts DNA testing when there's any question about the validity of the parent-child relationship. And additional scrutiny is placed on individuals who are not related to the child to ensure that a child is not being trafficked. Due to what I assume is a drafting error in this proposal before us, I have to note that this bill would not even apply to families seeking asylum at the border. As it is currently written, this bill only applies to someone who is, quote, admitted, close quote, to the United States. But under our immigration laws, asylum seekers at the border, quote, enter, close quote, the United States, but are not usually, quote, admitted. There's a big distinction here. That means that this bill would apply to any non-citizen family coming to the United States through our legal immigration system, but not families crossing the border to claim asylum. 
exactly the opposite of what the senator says that she wanted to achieve. The family relationship of those who are coming to our country through the legal immigration system are usually validated by multiple agencies before applicants are issued a visa. For example, assume a family from Mexico wanted to come to Disneyland in Florida and apply for a visitor's visa for that purpose for themselves and their children. They would need to prove at the airport under this bill that they are the relatives or guardian of the children or submit to a DNA test. Is that what we're going to expend our energy on? If the family refuses, the adults may be arrested, the children will be treated as unaccompanied children and placed in custody. Is that what we want to achieve? This bill would require every such family to prove their relationship with their children at the airport or other ports of entry. The burdensome requirements in this bill would bring our system for processing lawful travelers to a halt and deter legitimate trade and tourism in the United States. As a senator from Tennessee knows, protecting kids has been one of our top priorities in the Judiciary Committee. Last year, we held two hearings on safety and well-being of children seeking refuge in the United States. We heard from child trafficking experts and government witnesses. Following up on these hearings, the committee is in the midst of an ongoing investigation of the issue. We all agree that no child should be abused, exploited, or trafficked, whether the president's a Republican or a Democrat. I vigorously oppose the Trump administration's inhumane family separation policy, and I've demanded that the Biden administration do more to protect migrant children. It's easy to criticize the executive branch, but let's take a look at the reality of the situation. We need to look in the mirror. It has been decades, over 30 years, since Congress passed meaningful immigration legislation. In less than an hour, at 2 o'clock, every senator, Republican and Democrat, will have a chance to, to make history to start us on a conversation, a bipartisan conversation, for a better immigration system. Instead of lobbying partisan attacks, let's come together across the aisle to fix the broken immigration system. We should provide money, funding for enforcement against child viol labor violations and ensure child migrants have the services they deserve. I've introduced legislation to improve sponsor vetting and placement, help children navigate our legal system, and better protect minors in, in government custody. I welcome my colleagues from either side of the aisle to join me. I'd be more than happy to sit down with any of my colleagues to discuss solutions that would prevent child trafficking. Sadly, this bill does not accomplish that goal at all. I object. The objection is heard. The senator from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. President. I think that the uh, esteemed chairman of the Judiciary Committee is misreading the bill because this would apply to people that are entering the United States. It would apply to those that are coming to the southern border. And this is a process that had been in place. The Biden administration chose to stop this process. Mr. President, what we understand is they chose to stop this because the test takes 45 seconds, 45 minutes, excuse me, 45 minutes to determine if that child is or is not related. 45 minutes to determine if that child should be left with those adults. And 30% of the children that are DNA tested at that southern border are found to not be related to the adult who is holding them by the hand, who is bringing them in the country. So I would ask my colleagues, is 45 minutes too much time to take to be sure that a child is secure? We have had 10 million people come to that border. We have had 400,000 of those children. Don't we want to provide the best for these children and separate them from traffickers? And by the way, HHS has lost track of 85,000 of these children. They can't tell your committee Mr. President, where those children are. They can't tell Judiciary Committee where those children are. 85,000 children. We do not know if they are dead or alive. We do not know if they are being labor trafficked, sex trafficked. We do not know what is happening. DNA testing is a way to help save some of these children. We should return to this policy. And by the way, again, I will mention H.R. 2 has been in here. Homeland Security Committee has had 374 days. 
to have a markup on a border security bill. They chose not to. Judiciary Committee could have had a markup on a border security bill. They did not do it. But they're bringing a political stunt bill to the floor today to try to push it through to give cover to vulnerable members of your party. Yield the floor.